Good morning, it's oh, Wednesday 13th of December and I am absolutely shattered. I ache all over. I'm having to day off. I'm going to go back to sleep. I'm absolutely shattered. I slept really well last night. I only woke up twice. But I am so tired. I'm just not used to walking the amount I did yesterday. Uh, Paul walked Jennifer down to school this morning. She's in school. And then I've got to walk to Mum's later to hopefully get the car. But if not, see what's going on. I just feel absolutely shattered. And I just want to sleep. So... I am um, editing together last night's vlog because I was just too tired to do anything last night and I will get it up and I'll try and get this one up tonight as well, it depends on how I'm feeling but I'm having the day off, I've got one item to pack before I go out um, that I've sold, which is fine, not a problem at all um, oh, I'm so tired I get that packed up when I get up and before I walked down to mum's, it be about 10 after 10-ish. I'm so tired. My brother's home. He got home last night, had something to eat and went to bed, because obviously long flights. Um, so I hope it'll be nice to see him later. Paul said I don't look very well, and I'm just, I look so tired. <laughs> My eyes won't open. So I'm off back to sleep for a few hours, and I'll see you later. I am such a croc. <laughs> My dad just rang. Um, to say that the key's out, the guy got it out without damage in the lock, um, put it through the door and he actually had a feel of it and you can feel that there's a very sh rough edge that needs to be trimmed off and that's probably what caused the issue. So later on when I get up I'll pack my order, I'll take it down to mum's and then I'll have a cup of tea and nip over to um, Timpson's with the VAT receipt which I've got. It's in my emails. Um, I'll print it off and take it to them. If they need me to email it in, I will. That's fine. It's not a problem. They will sort the problem out for me. And hopefully that will resolve the issue. I'll still be terrified of putting it in. Um, I'll get Dad to show me what the actual issue is. And now I'm actually going to go back to sleep for a few hours. I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to go down to Mum's about 11 or 12 o'clock. I'll probably go down a bit earlier. Because um, I want to see my bro. <laughs> and have a catch up. I am going to look, because Mark can't seem to get this part for the thermal dryer. I'm going to have a look at heated rack. I can't get, I've got so much washing. I've got two racks filled with clothes. I've got another load on, but those racks aren't clean, dry. And I need to get the dry because I need Jennifer's clothes for school. So I'm going to have a quick look and see, and I might use some of my eBay money for that. So I'm going to go and have a look now. I am home. Jennifer's here. Come and say hello. What's on? Did you drop your longhorn? You want to show your friends in a minute? Oh, we'll go and rescue him in a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. So, Jennifer, you saw your Uncle Chris? Mm -hmm. What do you think of Uncle Chris? He's very tall, isn't he? Yes. He's bigger than you guys. He's fun, isn't he, though? Yeah. Yeah, you had fun with him, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And he bought her a longhorn cow all the way back from Houston. Yeah. In the USA. Yeah. Where he had his day layover. Yeah. He's lovely, isn't he? Mm-hmm. We're going to see him again tomorrow, shall we? Cat's gone in your room, so go on downstairs while you can. Put that washing in the basket for me. Because I, I just see now. <laughs> so I'm not feeling very well today. I'm feeling really lightheaded. I think it's all the stress of the last few days. Spent 40 minutes on the phone to the GWP. Most of that was in the queue on hold. Just about my employment and support allowance. Um, they didn't have my bank details. It's fine, Zed. Come here, baby. Zeddy. Um, so that's all sorted, so I should get a payment from them tomorrow. I've just got to try and get some washing dry somehow. No tumble dryer in the middle of winter. I'm really not feeling very well today, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow. I think it's just the stress of having the car key issue, which is still not fixed. So, um, But just to let you know, I got... I the, the, the locksmith got the key out of the car. Not a problem. Took the key over to... Tibbetsons, they said, and uh, we agreed, it's probably best that they don't do it and that I get a, a car locksmith out because they'll be able to cut it on site, test it and make any adjustments uh, that are needed. So I'll do that. There is one that my man, mechanic uh, recommends whose name's Jock the Lock. I love it. So I will ring him in the next day or so and get him out and do it. They refunded me the original key 
and the cost of getting the locksmith out, which was like 170 quid. Well, 180 actually, near enough. Um, and they gave me that back in cash, which was lovely. And um, she was she was nice enough. She was a lovely, lovely girl. To, you know, sometimes this happens. Um, but because I had to get the locksmith out, they compensated me by, I mean, the compensation was just paying me back for it, which I was happy with. So, um, I can still drive my car at the moment. It's not a problem, just got to be very careful with the key, key blade. It's in my purse at the moment, safe. I've been eating minstrels because I thought maybe my, maybe my sugar, levels, sugar levels are a bit low. I haven't had much to eat today. I had, I didn't have any breakfast. I did have some crisps earlier. I just wasn't hungry, couldn't eat anything. And I did have some stew, but I haven't had very much to eat today. And of course, I've done a lot of walking, so there's all that. So I'm just going to get changed. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to see if we can put the bloody topper on that tree. <laughs> and some more baubles while the cat's out. 